Tamil Tigress is about my childhood growing up in Sri Lanka um, during the Civil War where I then joined um, the Tamil Tigers and became one of their first female soldiers and then I um, uh, fled the country and arrived in Australia seeking political asylum. Um, but I decided to write the story some 22 years ago just for personal reasons but then the impetus to publish only came about two years ago when I saw boatloads of Tamil refugees arriving in this country. Um, and there was a lot of misinformation and misunderstanding uh, about th the political refugees who have fled the country after the civil war. Um, although now I'm a happily married mother of two who lives in the North Shore of Sydney and holds a degree in biotechnology and law um, and works at a university, I realised that people need to understand these are real human beings and I needed to put a um, personal voice to their story because all the information that was in the media or either politically motivated or um, drummed up for sensation, um, etc. So um, very reluctantly I decided to write this story because there is still a risk of personal safety um, by coming out with this story and um, yet it had to be done. And um, one of the um, things I thought about it also was that it's a fairly unique story because it's not only from a Tamil tiger but it's also the perspective of a female child soldier which I thought would be um, fairly different to most of the stories that are out there. And I hope that the reader will gain an understanding for the political situation in Sri Lanka and have some empathy for these people, as well as gain um, an understanding into the mind of someone so ordinary like myself who comes from a Catholic middle class educated background, and one with a mixed race family as, at that, would go into um, joining a Tamil tiger, becoming a Tamil tiger and uh, ready to sacrifice their life for the cause. Um, but also I hope the reader gets to appreciate the beauty of Sri Lanka, the um, deep-rooted traditions and the culture. And writing the book has been cathartic for me as well. Um, so it's been certainly worthwhile me revisiting the story, uh, which is a very painful chapter in my life after two decades. So I hope the reader um, enjoys it and appreciates it.